that with information of our region, for the municipalities, for priority routes. So the different municipalities chose their routes and they keep it in concern when they work on roadblocks, etc. Well, what are the main routes that are important for the emergency services? This is almost the same information for one municipality and another fewer. GeoWeb, we developed it, uh, it is available in the Netherlands uh, based on the geo cortex of latitude. Prepare uh, paper maps, PDF, uh, map books. Um, here, to the left, uh, a highway with intersections, one intersection um, with a table uh, next to it where does the first appliances, office in charge, etc. come from? And where does it start and where does it end? Where are they responsible for? In the middle, a complicated situation and to the right, a detailed topographic map with coordinates on it, so they are also aware of what is around them. It is only a very short part, but on small pages. You can use it in the uh, appliances, but the larger map is this. Uh, we have this procedure in a uh, uh, workout in a book of 40 pages, and this is a summary for one page. I've worked it, uh, out in the uh, IGA desktop and that are uh, more than 20 data frames used in it. For each data section, intersection, we have a detailed map and a list and all the choices uh, are there, there. So, well, we, we can print it and uh, show it in the, uh, in the fire stations so they can uh, show it to the public what we are, how we react on the emergency uh, uh, on the highway and also for the personal how this will work again. Operational use. In our regional coordination center we uh, made a common operational picture and we used for that we called the GeoViewer based on RGIS server. Uh, well, standard uh, uh, for editing, we made points, lines, and polygons, and here you see a few points, and uh, to the left, right on the map, you see actual information of a fire that occurred a few weeks ago at night with a bakery in a city downtown, and an area that is evacuated uh, Is evacuated the commanding post and on the uh, bottom the shelter locations and uh, well with, with that matters we can on different levels different uh, teams edit the information and all together multi-using multi-editing uh, share the information common picture only for the map and to the text I can do later and then for training we train a lot and we have 11 municipalities, so when each municipality trains once, we train 11 times. And a lot of times we train with different time than a realistic time. And well, that's difficult, so we made it in a short, uh, small applications. Uh, it's to the right, it's a time manager, and the, the leader of exercise can fill in what is, must be the exercise time, what is the status when the exercise start and then all the players in different locations when they open they see what the exercise time is and the status so that we communicate those information then I'll go on to knowledge when you use external advice sometimes it's, it's necessary for capacity well be aware that you all registered those informations, those activities uh, what uh, they are doing, also print screens, etc. So you can reuse it and not, uh, well, uh, you have not asked external advice to them again to do it, to repeat it. And also your internal questions and answers, support how to do, register it, share it internal and also with your colleagues, other organizations. Meetings about geo information 
and GIS is very important, just like this. And you also uh, support your colleagues, you follow them, so you can uh, uh, share information and get new ideas. Uh, to make it uh, more practical, I ask you to come after the session to me and give you your card. Then I will send to you the paper I've mentioned earlier in this presentation. So we can share information on that way. The last subject, the first session, is education and communication. Here we have an enormous map gallery, but the subjects are so divided that when you, for your situations, make uh, five or ten uh, maps specified on your work process, it may be that that small map gallery is more specific for your colleagues. They can learn more from it than an enormous wide uh, subject map gallery. And when you uh, organize GIS courses, education, internal, uh, be aware that your exercises are related on your work process. So your colleagues can better relate the work to GIS and the other way around. Organize your own press and support your colleagues so you can use them as your ambassadors. Um, my experience in the, a few years, uh, years ago, I've organized a map gallery in our meeting hall. Mostly there was uh, art hanging, but I have an exposure. Uh, GIS, no art. There well, that's a part of it, and there also was a publication in a GIS magazine, and well, we can distribute that for, to get more awareness about the well rich world of GIS. So for the first part, I go on with geotext integration. It's new, but 